Spiros, we've been talking a lot today about management information and management information systems. Currently, there's some real economic issues and people are trying to cut costs. What are the risks and benefits from taking such an approach in this environment? There's a lot of organisations at the moment that are looking at the agenda. Uh, reason being that uh, you know times are tougher, uh, not just in the UK but globally, and that's the reason why it happens. I think it's a it's a healthy thing to do, uh, albeit not necessarily just at this time, but uh, on a continuous improvement basis. Uh, the big challenges that organisations uh, have during that time is uh, focusing too much on the efficiency agenda, try you know, taking costs out because either they have to uh, or because they think that is a good opportunity to do so at this stage. Uh, there needs to be a balance between focusing on that and actually looking at how they can add value to the organization, uh, potentially by exploring new areas of their business, focusing more on their customers and really understanding uh, how they can explore the customer needs to uh, develop their business better and also really understanding on exactly what drives their business forward and how they can improve performance. So there really needs to be a balance between the value add side of their business and also the efficiency side without actually forgetting that all this needs to be done in a more controlled environment where they can understand the risks, the upsides and downsides of risks and how that can affect their decisions. Spiros, we've talked an awful lot about the technical sides of implementing management information systems. What about the people side? How important is that for us? Very much so and, and the, I think that there are many reasons why uh, businesses focus on the more, what we call the technical side, uh, which is all around uh, drawing new orga organizational structures, uh, putting some new technology in, potentially re-engineering some of the processes. Uh, and uh, that is fine and absolutely a great enabler in uh, making a change happen as such. Um, but uh, even if you invest millions of pounds to make that happen, the danger is that you forget that people will actually turn up in the morning to go to work and use that environment, use that information to make decisions that drive performance forward. Many organizations forget that side of the, of the equation. They invest heavily on putting new systems in, as I said, and doing the technical work, but not so much in terms of identifying who the people will be that will drive the business forward, how they can align those people um, to focus and deliver the strategy, how they can uh, incentivize them and also actually make them work as a team uh, to deliver that strategy and effectively how they can make them get up, and get up in the morning, go to work and drive the business forward. Why do you think that is? It's just easier to fix the technical side, much easier. You can invest a few million, probably tens of million in, in some situations and, and really fix the technical side um, also, technology is such these days that um, it, it's easier to deploy uh, a, you know, a lot of the vendors, uh, rightly so and very helpfully so actually, have acquired businesses and they can offer a whole suite of products uh, and all you need to do is go out and buy it. Uh, people side, changing culture, really identifying who the right skills, who the right people with the right skills are to, to um, drive performance of your business. It's much more difficult and it takes much longer uh, to do. Culture is difficult to change, so if you are looking to change that, it will take longer. It's much, much easier to fix the technical side than the people side.